Remember, I told you the open start tip was versatile. I have even more techniques to show you now. There is the floor to lee and the reverse shell. The floor to lee normally is uh, associated with French type things or more formal uh, occasions. But you're basically making a shell, so you've got it at a 45 degree angle. You're building it up a lot, and then you're bringing your tail down. Then you're basically making a shell to the side and kind of arcing a little bit. Doing it on both sides and coming over. And you can leave it like that if you want, or you can put a little star down at the bottom. Okay? So you're basically doing a very large buildup of your star and bringing down a tail. Coming over to the side, basically doing a shell. Same thing on the other side, bringing it over to meet. And then you may or may not do a star right there to finish it off. You can use different size tips. I've got a number 18, but you can also use a larger tip. Now, we're going to do the reverse shell. So basically what you're doing is you're starting out as a shell, and then it's a little bit like a rosette move where you come over to the side. And then you go the opposite way the next time. So you have a little bit of a tail. So I'm squeezing and bringing it around. And then I'll squeeze it and bring it around the other side. So I'm basically making a little bit of a shell rosette and bringing it long and touching down. And if you need to, you can always go over your tail like that. Now this looks good if you're doing something you want to frame, like a picture frame. Uh, it's a nice border, adds some additional interest. It's a little bit uh, more sophisticated than your basic shell. So you can just see how I'm doing it there. Now, you can use it for uh, a variety of techniques. Here we have it on the green cake with some flowers. And then if you look at the peach cake, you can see that we have the fleur-de-lis there without the star at the bottom using a much larger star tip.